In this video, I'm going to explain how you can start to make money for your business using a $100 a day budget on Facebook ads. Hey guys, my name is Jessie Lay, Product and Marketing Executive here at Social Media College. With over 2 billion monthly active users on Facebook, you have an incredible potential to increase your revenue with just a click of a mouse. But how do you generate sales without Facebook swallowing up your entire budget and spitting out an enormous bill each month? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five quick tips that will get you more bang for your buck. Tip one, try different ad strategies. To get the most out of your Facebook ads, you need to test a variety of strategies. This includes the overall campaign strategy you're looking to execute, as well as ad and ad set level details, such as your demographics, images, key messaging, and placement. An example of this could be a personal trainer. They have three campaigns they want to test. The first is targeting men who are self-conscious about the way they look and feel and don't have the confidence to go to the gym. The intention is to get them to watch an inspirational short video. The second is to target new or young mums who must balance competing priorities on limited time. The idea here is to get them to download a lead magnet. The final one is getting people to like a Facebook page or a group that brings a community focus looking at support and accountability. You can see each of these campaigns is targeting different people, but more importantly, there are different strategies. Each one has a different behavior they want to encourage. The key to running these ads is to split your budget into equal amounts. You might make some changes, but the end goal is to see which campaign performs the best. If you get higher sales from one campaign than the other, you might consider prioritizing the groups over the others. Tip two, build a funnel. A marketing funnel is a tool designed to move the prospect through the customer journey where they go from the first time interaction with your brand right through to a paying customer. Building a funnel using Facebook ads creates multiple ways for potential customers to see, hear, and learn about your brand. The more a user recognizes your brand, the more likely they'll be to engage with your ad. The idea behind a Facebook funnel for your ads is to move a prospective client through the different stages and in result, become a paying customer. This is done by changing the content they see based on the level of engagement. For example, if someone liked your post, the next thing you might want them to see is a 30 second video. Using Facebook's analytics, you can see who has watched the video and then create a targeted ad specifically for those people that looks to direct them to your website or your sales page. Each new part of the funnel is designed to target those who show the highest level of engagement with what you're doing and maximize the opportunity to turn them into customers. Tip three, run split tests. Split testing is a feature in your ad set level of your campaign. It allows you to duplicate your campaign and split your budget evenly across multiple ad sets where you can change only one variable like your image or copy to see which test gives you the best results. By running these variables, you'll see where you need to spend your budget and how you can further optimize your creatives, audiences, placements, and product sets to get the lowest possible results. Although it can be time consuming, I assure you that you can help scale your ads quickly and for a lower budget and you will get a better return on ad spend. Tip four, work by process of elimination. The biggest problem with Facebook ads is that people want results instantly overnight. Don't expect everything to happen right away, but if you haven't seen the results you'd like in a week or two, stop throwing your money at the problem. Pause the campaign and see what you can learn from it. If you're running other campaigns, Compare them and try to find what the differences are. Remember, initial campaigns may focus on raising awareness, whereas later ones are building sales opportunities. The purpose and results you will see will differ from the two. Tip five, keep testing what works. When you get a new idea, it's important you don't get too excited and create one ad using all of your budget. Put a smaller part of your overall budget into testing and see what happens. Once it's profitable, start investing larger proportions of your ad budget into the new campaign. And don't overuse ads that show early promise. Every campaign has a shelf life. Don't leave yours out there too long, otherwise it will go stale. Too many people leave their ads running for months at a time, either pause, edit, or run a new campaign. If you're running your first ad, take baby steps. Try small budgets and see what happens. Facebook is a great way to reach more customers, but don't forget, the point of using them is to get the most value for the lowest cost, and it might take some time to figure out that part. It's important that you use your budget effectively. Think about the strategies you want to use, who you want to target, and how your results differ when you use a different headline or image, for example. 
All this needs to be tested to find what works best for your business. Love our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more social media marketing tips. And if you'd like to learn more about Facebook advertising, you can read the full length blog linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.